Embezzlement at Wayne Enterprises. We got increased mob health. Selectable hero. Something tells me it's not Gwen. Because it is round 100, and Gwen is not good. Round 100. Uh, can't afford this, right? Of course not. One might say it's Yili, but we're not getting level 20. In that case, it's useless. But I'm gonna use it anyways. I'm actually not sure how much HP it has, but let me just see. How much level is gonna get? 19. Uh, can I make money? It's not chips, right? No, it's not chips. Uh, there's a farm enabled, but I can't sell. I can't sell. Before I start using Azili, I just want to see how much HP does it have, because again, the challenge editor currently does not see the percentage, so you gotta guess. Or you gotta experiment with, like, first strikes and elims to see how much HP it has. So we're gonna watch the damage closely of everything here. How many first strikes can I get? Uh, how many is that? I don't know. Let's play. There are 14. So 14 does at least 20%. Okay. That's 140k damage plus uh 16, 20k. So 160k damage done so far. Not max HP, but close. Oh, I could use Energizer too, but... Eh, whatever, it's fine. We're not gonna beat this with Brute Force. I wanna tell you that. So... So what do you call it? Uh, 14 times 20,000. So 280k plus uh, 40k. That's about 300k damage to do 60% HP. I saw it got damaged a little more at the end. What if it actually is Brute Force? I'm just curious, you know. We're close. It could be Brute Force. I'm just gonna spam uh, for strikes. No Elim even. It's more efficient going for a first strike if you have Energizer. So how much is this? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Look at that army. So cute. Uh, 14 again. Same thing. I got 10k for the insides. Whatever might be inside. If we get 4 abilities used, it's gonna be really close. And something tells me we're only gonna get 3. 3 is the max, guys. Another 14? Yeah, we're not gonna make it. There's no way to slow it down to get another, uh... Another patch. Actually... Wait... Did we pop it? We do pop it. This actually could be the answer. But how the hell do I kill, uh... DDTs? Oh, I bought Preemptive by accident. Oh, well. I bought Preemptive by accident, but that's okay. We will use this run to test. Is Preemptive worth it? So we swap out two for strikes for one Preemptive. Let's see. We only have 12 abilities now. We get Preemptive a lot faster, though. Yeah, the cooldown for Preemptive is really fast and does more damage. Oh, oh no, it doesn't. What? Wow. When they nerf First Strike, they also nerf Preemptive because First Strike used to do 16.7k damage. Now it's 10k. I was thinking, uh, to make preemptive balance, they would have kept the damage on the preemptive, but it doesn't. It's also nerfed to 10k, like the rest. Which is pretty sad, if you ask me. Really disappointing. Let's hope they change it back. So all this guy does is pretty much nothing. Yeah, look. He got one ability faster. That's not worth triple the cost. Nope. So what to do for DDTs when they pop? Well, I'm thinking pirating them. Unfortunately, I can only afford one, and that's it. I think if we could, like, have the perfect damage number, what we could have happen is, uh, skip the DDT layer, but I don't know how if I'm spamming mindlessly. Like, is it even possible in that case? Maybe I might add, like, one mauler? Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? And here we go again. No DDTs, please. No, I'm pretty sure we died to DDTs. Instead of 14, I have 13. I'm gonna use that extra sub money to buy level 7. I'm curious. 21 lives. You lose 10 lives with the Zili's totem. So if you use it twice, what happens? Based on the description, it does nothing to the first strike, like the ability. But maybe it does do something, I'm not sure. We will test over here. So let's play. We'll drop totem twice uh, when we can get it up. So we're gonna check the damage counts on the uh, subs that are underneath the totem. So... We'll use 13 now. Might have been a little slow on that, but yeah. Let's use Totem now, so we get up for the fourth wave of attacks. So let's see. This is a range of three. Three of these guys, so let's watch. 20.9? No, it's the same thing. What the hell does it do? Nothing. So weirdly enough, it might not be Zili, but it's so suspicious. 
Why 21 lives? It puts it exactly at 1. Why would that not be the answer? Uh, here's a random thought. IMF loan. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work, guys. We don't even get the IMF cooldown up. It's so long. There's no way. I was thinking about doing this multiple times to get Discount Village, but... Or to get Legend Knight, but we're not, not happening. This IMF cooldown is insanely long. And Monkey Domics is the same length, though. It, it doesn't matter. We're not getting 50,000, I don't think, from farming with glitches. With, like, illegal strategies and the farms, no. Uh, instead of Legend of the Night, we saw that Azili, 20,000 shorts of level 20. Is there anything that can make us 20,000? I'm really curious. Can I fit two farms, if I can? Pog. Pog. Uh, can I buy this, too? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, I'm still gonna give it a shot, play the round. Get the money immediately. Got that. Flavor trades coming after I use this guy. Yeah, if the lives don't mean anything, it's gonna be a big ass red herring. It's gonna throw me off so hard. So we'll get both the crates and the IMF loan. There we go. Got the monies. No, I can't afford this. I was hoping. I was hoping I could get two to get more salt back. So we sold it. Let me see how close we are. We're further off. I wonder if we get two flavor trades. Would we be closer? Pretty sure no, but I'm gonna keep trying. Restart. What if we actually sell the heli as well? Sell both farms in the heli. But I believe we need more than one ice for that. Is there any place where one ice can fit two farms and a heli? Come on, no. Oh, will this sell also? This looks awfully close. And then, as usual, we'll get two flavor trades. One here, one here. The issue is I can't sell the boat either, so we're mostly not going to be close. Either way. Nope. Can't afford it. Feels bad. Zeal again. Yeah, not, not even close. Can I make $400? Uh, I'm just curious. If we can get two flavor trades, how close do we get? I'm just going to see. With Monkey Wall Street. Do this. And uh, I think we're good. Wow, this makes 320 What? Wait, how does, this how does this tower make nothing? That's... I don't know how the Wall Street works, but that's really bad. Disgust- Wait, what? How do I have $400,000? Did we cheese the challenge? Tell me that's a cheese. How the hell do we get $400,000? What the hell? We're gonna win. Well, that's a bug. Embezzlement of Wayne Enterprises. Is that the... Solution? Does this title have anything to do with the Monkey Wall Street? Because that actually might be the answer. Do it again? Alright, I'll do it again. We're gonna watch closely this time. One, two, three, four, one, two. So the 21 lives is a red herring. It's a red herring. It's got nothing to do with the totem. So yeah, apparently the title has something to do with uh what is going on here. Why does Wall Street plus illegal strategy uh give you so much money? I don't know. But that is actually. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I found the answer to this, just by trial and error. Yeah, I don't see where the money comes from, but just watch. Yeah, we just- no, we don't get the money this time, what? No glitch this time. You need to buy heli before the farm. Okay, that makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> I'm also curious how anybody ever figured that out. That buying heli first means, uh, yeah, the farm gets glitched. That is one wacky glitch. Interesting. So, this time, we should get 400k, because we bought Heli first. Spaghetti code... On a 1, 2, 3. Spaghetti code. And it's Eli again. And that's GG. Illegal strategies are still well and alive, even today. Really weird, but I like it. Aragon's challenge. Peninsula 1 Tower. Believe it's a Moab. So it's faster balloons, stronger Serams, but weaker mobile health. It's not a lot of money, but we have a lot of lives, so I feel like all we gotta do... Wait, yeah. All we gotta do is pop the Moab, because the rest doesn't matter. We survive. So with that said, what's the strongest... Can we get a Mauler? Uh, even if I didn't buy that one upgrade? No. Ah, uh, Grape Shot's good. Grape Shot. Uh, we'll get a 2-1-0. I don't think Hot Shot's is that good. Can't sell, though. 
So that means this doesn't work. Nope. So pick one tower that beats a Moab. Am I sure I can't buy this? Yeah, I can't. $60 off. Zero to- Ah, oh, I can't buy zero to two. It's fine. Uh, how many shots does it get? It doesn't even hit. Wonderful. Uh, does any tower reach? Crossbow. I doubt it. I'd love to get down here, but it's just not possible. So far, boat is the best. Let's try if engineers can shoot. Oh, yeah, this. Larger surface area. Does this throw on the, uh, the wall? I mean, this NG is pretty, pretty far down. Unfortunately, we can't buy deconstruction. Nah, not gonna work. How about a 1 2 0? Hey, that's a pretty good, uh, sentry. Maybe it's RNG with the sentries. But even then, deconstruction is really slow. And we can't shoot down here. So that's pretty bad. Yeah, two damage per shot is not nowhere near good enough. Uh, attack shooter. Attack shooters are nice. What do I want to buy with attack? Hotshot? Uh, let's try sprayer. One, two, three. One, two. Play. It's either this or hotshots if it's attack. And damage? 31. 33. Still less than boat. Well, we actually have enough to delete this. Maybe here's better for attack. Not sure though. If so, it's marginal. Play again. Damage? 12, 28, 44, 49, 51. Hey! We're close. I don't know if it's pixel perfect targeting or maybe. Let me just experiment with hot shots. If not, it's gotta be the uh, 203. I can only buy 301, by the way. 50? Oh no, it's hot shots. GG. Wow. Hot shots is better than 203. Interesting. I guess that's because we have, uh, what do you call it? More attacks. This guy does double damage, if you didn't know. Two damage per shot. Really underrated upgrade, actually. Nice little one router, I guess.